We want the clustered option, so make sure that's selected. And then under data in chart R, we want to go ahead and use summaries for groups of cases. Click define. And then under bars represent, we want that to represent our dependent variable. So go ahead and click on exam scores. And then click on the radio button or the option other statistic mean because we want the mean to be plotted just like those circles in our previous graph represented the mean. So go ahead and click that arrow button there and then select volume on the left and click the next arrow button to move that to the category axis box. And then finally select study method. Click the next right arrow button to move it to define clusters by. Go ahead and click OK. And then here we get the result of a bar graph. And you can see that here. And I also pasted this in our document, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that. And here it is. And you can see if we just go ahead and remove that and look at these two plots simultaneously. These plots are showing the exact same thing. They just show it in a little bit different way. Notice here our legend study method. We have the same thing here. Spaced and cramming, spaced and cramming once again. And these bars, the difference here, which you can see is labeled none or no music. So we have spaced the blue bar under no music, and then cramming is the green bar. And this difference here between the tops of the bars is the exact same thing as the difference we see right here. No music spaced versus cramming. This 9.833 point difference, that is the difference between the height of these two bars. And then our bars on the right there under high volume, spaced and cramming, that's the exact same as this plot here, high volume, spaced and cramming. And that's the half point difference that we saw. So there's a half point difference here, and there's a 9.833 point difference here. And because the interaction is significant, as we saw the p-value of 0 0.047, that means that the difference between these adjacent bars for no music or no volume is this difference here is not the same as this difference here. Or in other words, these differences are significantly different. And that's the same thing as saying that 0.5 is significantly different from 9.833. Now you'll see these plots a lot as well, and they really are communicating the exact same information. Now you might wonder as you look at this, you say, well, this plot, there's a really big difference here. And I don't really see that here. I see a difference, but it doesn't look as big as this one. Well, this is completely dependent on your vertical axis. Notice here it starts at 72.5 and ends at 82.5 on the legend. But in this plot down below, it starts at 0 and goes all the way to 100. Well, when you start at 0 and go all the way to 100, these differences here are going to look much smaller than when the legend does not begin at 0. So it's going, this is going to look bigger just because of the way the y-axis is. If we change this axis from 0 to 100, then the difference would look approximately the same as this one here, depending on what our major axis points, how much they increase by, and so on. But these plots communicate the exact same information about the interaction effect. They just do it in slightly different ways. This concludes the video on the interaction effect in SPSS. Thanks for watching.